if your lordship see my lord bangladesh borders five different states it borders my lord west bengal meghalaya assam tripura and mizoram and how much does it melot it is on the mhm lot in my submission i have just prepared a, some sort of a chart again for convenience melot it is there in the i'll give the i've given the page number also here so bangladesh's largest border is really with west bengal yes melot it has melot i have just give it it has melot 2216 km with west bengal and these are from the melot i've given the source also and they are part of my submission also melot this which page of the submission just here there These are part of my submission. But border with Meghalaya appears to be larger than. That's right, Manod. So, Manod, that's what I, it's happening. People go to Meghalaya immediately, cross over the road, come to Assam, claim citizenship. That's a huge problem for Assam because if a lot of travel from Guwahati to Shillong, Manod, one side is Assam road, one side you have to only cross the road and to say claim citizenship of the country. If a lot of see, we look this. Assam borders 263 kilometers with Bang Bangladesh. In this uh, in this map, where is Guwahati? Well, Guwahati is Dispur. It is in Dispur, right. capital. So it doesn't. Well, it the, the Guwahati doesn't border Bangladesh, but it borders. Well, when you travel from Dispur to Shillong, you have. I'm so sorry. My brother wants to know when was Meghalaya created? In 1971. So before the cut-off date or after this cut-off date? 69 it became an autonomous state and meghalaya lots would give me a minute plot not is the areas reorganization act it became a ut for some for some well it is 1969 it became an autonomous state within the state and that became lot under the north east areas reorganization act it became 19 21 january 1972 so then this would yes. be the assam border only yes my lord Yes, it was an Assam. Page page one fifty four. You know, all these figures, my lord, which I am giving it here, are part of this. I have given the source, and it is in part of my written submission, my lord, in paragraph fifteen. Next, yes, it became an autonomous state in nineteen sixty nine. Sixty nine, sixty nine Act, sixty nine Act. I don't know that. It is sixty nine. Sixty nine Assam uh, state within a state. It was a new concept which was developed, and then it became a full fledged state in seventy one act with effect from seventy two. So, my lord, Assam has my lord two sixty three kilometer bordering. West Bengal has two thousand two hundred and sixteen kilometer bordering. Meghalaya has four forty three kilometer bordering. Mangal Mizoram has three hundred eighteen kilometer. Tripura has eight fifty six kilometer. Now, lots of would see me lot the extent of illegal population in 2001, which is as per the statement of the Home Minister on the floor of Parliament. It is not from any individual studies, me lot. And these figures are there are part of me lot my submission, and this is part of the statement of the Home Minister, me lot. Lots of would see me lot 50 lakhs are the population in 2001. Of out of 266 lakhs is the total population for the census of 61 18 percent are me lot illegal immigrants and you give citizenship to all where is that homogeneity article 14 has to have some meaning me lot not for an individual to a group of individuals staying in assam claiming their ethnic rights me lot in in west bengal 57 lakhs out of 8 and 8 800 and 1 lakh 8 crore it is 7 7 percent Meghalaya it has thirty thousand out of twenty three lakhs. It is one percent. Mizoram figures are not available, my lord. Tripura has, my lord, ten ten percent. So you are not giving it to, my lord, the person who has one percent or seven percent or ten percent. You are giving citizenship, my lord. What is the basis for giving citizenship? Mainly because you want it political suit. You have an Assam Accord that does not satisfy the test of constitutionalism, my lord. That may satisfy the test of your political expediency. You have taken the figures as of two thousand one. Yes, my lord. Huh? 2000 malak these figures are the figures of 2000 of 1971 how many people were actually there we have put it no that my, my lord friend is given about 5 lakhs that it was stated on the floor of the house by a minister malak no but uh, they are going to give us the official mr solicitor figures. pointed out on that day malak that was during the debate mr badlu islam said this is the figures malak but officially malak as mr diwan has said nobody has come out with the figures malak we have the figure only of 1971 from sk sinha report malak who was the governor of assam we have figures from the law commission of india And we have figures from the Home Minister of India. These are the three figures which are available on record, Lord, which I pointed out in my written submissions in paragraphs. Let me see, my Lord, now the second schedule of the Citizenship Act for a minute. But every person who wants to be citizen of India makes an application for registration under Section Five or by naturalisation under Section Six. 
they cannot become a citizen of our country, my lord, without subscribing an oath of allegiance as prescribed under second second schedule. I and this is section five two six. I'm so sorry, citizenship act, my lord. Oath of allegiance, section five and six two, my lord, are what application for regist by registration or by nature. Do hereby solemnly affirm or swear that I will be a true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established and that I will faithfully observe the laws of India and fulfill my duties as a citizen of India. Now, my Lord, in contrast, would your Lord say, kindly come to my written submissions, my Lord, page 161 of that compilation, volume 1. None of the persons, my Lord, who are given deemed citizenship, my Lord, subscribe any such oath. In fact, my Lord, they are born and my Lord, they're subscribing an oath under the constitution of Pakistan, which same. says, my lord, if a lot of kindly permit me to read para 19 and 20, my lord. Same applies to section 6 also. Same applies to? Section 6 also. Mm. If you say so, yes. the same applies to section 6 also. Maybe anybody who got yes, six section no, 6 also. They, they have to make an application, subscribe both. Thereafter, my lord, let them, my lord, my lord, this provision cannot stand scrutiny, my lord. At least they have to say, you have to subscribe both to get a citizenship of my country. You do not subscribe both and you give citizens to lakhs of people, Milo, by deeming fiction. How it will impact the legality of the provision? No, because, my lord, because we have a sovereignty of India, my lord. It's the basic fund, basic feature, my lord, of our constitution. A person who believes, my lord, is bound by his by by the preamble of his parent constitution, which says, my lord, sovereignty over the entire universe belongs to Allah alone and the ex and the authority exercisable by the people within the limits prescribed by him in the sacred state thus. And whereas the founder of Pakistan, Qaid -e Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, expressing the will of the people, declared Pakistan should be sovereign republic of Islamic state. Can a person who is subscribing this oath, my lord, become an Indian citizen without subscribing an oath of allegiance under section under but schedule 2. It all depends on what parliament assumed. If parliament assumed that these people were fleeing their motherland yes. for because of the atrocities in the motherland the, or for a variety of reasons, the violence, the atrocities. My Lord, all, then, refu my Lord, all then, refugees, my Lord, let me, let me be very candid. All refugees, my Lord, are the people become refugees because they have to fled their, their home state. My Lord. Nobody wants to leave their home plate. For, for a good cause, for a, for the, under compelling circumstances. Person, right, but then the last thing which the refugee wants to do is to still go, uh, plead allegiance to the motherland because they have been they have left the motherland because of the conditions in the Milot, motherland. No, that's what I'm saying, Milot. No refugees which are three and a half crore globally recognized under the UN figures, Milot. Refugees leave their home without a compulsion. Every, anybody who becomes a refugee is under compulsion, Milot. So can you give a, Milot, that's what I said, Milot. You can give a I'm right to abort which is a humanitarian, humanitarian human right. We have given Milot vaccines. Milot, Sri Lanka recent judgment recognizes that Milot, India helped them with billions of dollars to, to come over the crisis. But for that, Milot, I'll give that citation to the constitution bench of five judges of the Sri Lanka Supreme Court. In the judgment recognized, Milot, it is but for the help of India during that financial crisis, the, the Sri Lankan position would have been much worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that I'm saying, no, all that I'm saying, Milot, all that I'm saying. If it is an individual case, if they are deciding individual case, no. they can do. If this is on a contingency basis, no, if, as the logic which you apply basis upon which section. No, my lord, what I'm saying, my lord, if, if you cannot give it to individual, can you give to a lakhs of people, my lord, citizenship by fiction? My lord, anybody who, I'm so sorry. So, my, lord, my, my submission is, my lord. Unless, my lord, you cannot become a citizen, you have to subscribe an oath of allegiance, which is basic, my lord, fundamental of the We've got the point. Anything else, Mr. Vahansayana? No, I think you've wrapped up your submission. Yes, my lord, I'll just find, finish it, my lord. Yes, my lord, as I, my lord, lots, this court has struck down various legislations on manifest arbitrariness. I'll pre I have prepared a schedule, I just to update it. Thank I'll you. give, my lord, all these parts of their compilation. With the, with the real, my lord, starting from, my lord, Anwarili Sarkar, my lord, the Justice Vivian Bose judgment, it's a very, very lucid. That is not manifest arbitrariness. No, it is, it says, my lord, what will be the discrimination? Of course, manifest all arbitrariness is Sairamanu. With the relevant paragraphs and the, and the compilation pages, my lord, I'm preparing, I'll just, tomorrow morning, I'll give that. One, uh, two pages, my lord, where the relevant judgments and with the relevant paragraphs and the relevant compilation page numbers, my lord. So, dual citizenship, my lord, again, my lord, those persons who have been given, my, my learned friend has dealt with it. Article 9 requires you to denounce 
Look, without denouncing my Lord, how can you become my Lord? They have not given up. They don't, they, nobody has said, my Lord, give me a citizenship. Lord, may presume that it is presumed. But it, ultimately, somebody has to say, my Lord, I don't want the citizenship of the country. I want the citizenship of your country. My Lord, I cannot get a citizenship of anywhere in the world. But you can buy parliament, my Lord, by dimming fiction, you give a citizenship of persons even you don't want, my Lord. They can go back. They, they continue to have both ways, my Lord. They stay here, they come and stay here. So they are they claim claim citizenship of that Pakistan also or now Bangladesh or claim citizen of India, my lord. They can be there can be any such law, my lord. You can choose citizenship at the same time. You have to denounce one and then to get another, my lord. And finally, as I said, my lord, if your lordship see my lord, my uh, Mr. Solicitor doesn't want, but there are refugee policies of this country, my lord. I have given those paragraphs, my lordship may only make a note of this, my lord. Okay. That it has something to do, Mr. Solicitor, it has something to do with, Lord, if you persons who are in India from last 50 years, from Lord Tibetans, etc., you have not given citizenship, Tamils, you have not given citizenship, the Rohingyas, you have not given citizenship, my Lord, Chakmas, you have not given, Chakmas, there are judgments of this court, my Lord, but again, against atrocities on them, but citizenships are not given, my Lord. To the people, so country must have a consistent you know, a refugee policy. You, know, you cannot you know, just say people of so far as Assam is concerned, no policy matters. All right, thank you, Mr. You know, I am extremely grateful for such a patient you. hearing, you know, and you. and I'll just for uh, this give the start tomorrow morning. You know. okay. If a lot of us want to say something, then leave it, leave it. Uh, thank you, Mr. I'm grateful to you. Mr. Solicitor, would you like to start tomorrow morning? Because now we are almost in the wrap. That, you know, we, it's just so that you will only barely open, otherwise, if we yes. start today. Start, Let's start tomorrow. So, Mr. Solicitor will argue first, then uh, after that. Thereafter, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make my submission. Mr. Sibyl would like to argue. Mr. Kapil Sibyl will be following. And then, Mr. 